There's the green flag, and they're on their way, except for car number 50 of uh, Steve Brennan, who got a little bit of a bang from behind from Michael T, who got an even bigger bang from behind from Jamie Ralston, and none of that helped uh, Steve Brennan get going. It just would not move. He's gone about 10 metres in the race. Now, here comes the pack. Hang on, Steve. Oh, gee. Spin out on Troy Hutchinson right beside the car that's stranded on the racetrack, Steve Brennan. We've got another one, Scott Cherry, parked awkwardly here in the exit of turn four, but he's managed to get himself straightened up. And we've got Troy Hutchinson in an awkward spot at the approach to turn one. And here comes the screaming pack of leaders again. <laughs> oh, gee. There's some sudden changes, of course, going on as they see these cars stranded on the track. Who's our leader, Joel? I've got no idea. I don't know the right, Ross. Uh, 33, sure make it. That'll do. The 33 car, Morris. thank you. Gary Morris. Thank you. Gary Morris is out in front of the number one of Steve West. One is the Newcastle Club champ. One is the New South Wales stock car champ. So we've got champ versus champ here. The top two odds. Steve West got a dream shot on Mono. Oh he didn't quite uh, manage to be able to make it work. Morris and West running bumper bar to bumper bar. Nose to tail. Oh, Whoa, gee, there's a hit on that uh, Troy Hutchinson car. He's in a really difficult spot in that entry to turn one. And Gary Morris is under heaps of pressure from Steve West. Those two have got a bit of a break on the uh, third place holder, Steve Ralston. But we're going to keep our eye on the top two. Gary Morris and Steve West. Now West is again right up to the back of Morris. Is this going to be the time? No. Couldn't quite get there. Morris has got just that little bit too much power. Morris and West. Now West has got him. Now West is up on the inside. He's not trying to push him out trying to race each other. Steve West has got the advantage of being in the stock car position. This is it. No, no, he missed him again. Morris and West, they're on their last lap. They're up to a slower car. What's West going to do? He's not bumping him. He's not trying to spin him. Maybe in this last corner. Look out. All hell could break loose here. Morris and West. West gives him a bump. Now he gives, no, he couldn't quite get to him. And Gary Morris has just hung on from Steve West. Very close finish. Steve Ralston was third. And the uh, number five car of Darren Horton was fourth. With the 87 car, Brett Cotton, crossing the line in fifth place.